Okay, so the question is, what exactly is Photoshop, and why should I use Photoshop rather than some other program out there? Well, Photoshop is what we call a bitmap editing program. And like the name implies, Photoshop is that it works very well with photographs. So we've got a photograph here of a pretty young lady. And if we look at this photograph, is that it's made up of things that we call pixels. In other words, it's just a mosaic of colored dots. For example, if we go ahead and we take our magnifying glass and we zoom in very closely to the eye here, you can see that at some point that we can see that this is made up of a grid of small uh, dots. So it's just a black dot here and next to that is sort of this dark green uh, dot. Next to that is more of a teal not, uh, dot and a light green dot and then a light gray dot. And then we keep coming over here and we get a white dot. Okay. And so these dots are just lined up on a grid and by the number of dots up and down or uh, across and down is that's what we determine is our pixel resolution. So if we go ahead and we zoom all the way back out on this picture here and we come up here and we come up here to our image image size and we can see that this image is 2,339 pixels wide and is 3,307 pixels tall. Okay, and we're looking at this at approximately 300 pixels per inch. So we, it would be, if we printed this out, it would be about seven and a half inches by about 11 inches. Okay, so it fit nicely on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Okay, and so this is what uh, Photoshop is really good at is uh, editing images that are made up of a series of dots. However, there's some things that don't uh, translate well when we talk about these dots or pixels. For example, if I look at this technical drawing and we look at this in pixels and we zoom into it, as you can see that it's, it's not very clean. It's kind of dirty. We kind of just got these pixels out here that are describing these lines in it, but we're just making this up like a mosaic tile rather than actually drawing lines. As we zoom into this, you can see that it breaks up in stair steps and does something that we call aliasing. So if I zoom back out on this, you can see that, for example, if I come over here to this R on this word here and I zoom into that, you can see that it's made up of a series of, of pixels there and it's kind of a little bit dirty around there. Okay, so this, this is Photoshop. And on the other side of the coin, we have something we call vector art. Now, vector art works on the principle that instead of drawing every pixel of this line here, for example, is that I would just say, here's where the line starts. And here's where the line ends and make it black and that makes a line and so no matter how far i zoomed in that line would be clean so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to switch over here to adobe illustrator which is a vector art program also in the adobe creative suite okay so now if we look at this illustration that we've got here in uh, illustrator you can see that we've got an R here and it looks very, very clean. And if we go ahead and we zoom in on this and we can continue to zoom in on this, you can see no matter how close that we get, that the line still looks clean. And the reason is, is what it's doing is it's saying, okay, I'm just uh, de defining a shape here. It's made up of a curved line around here and a straight line here. And then we fill it up with blue. And so it doesn't matter what size it is, it's still the same shape. So if I go ahead and I zoom out on this, and then we come over here and we zoom in, for example, let's say on this horse's eye. And you can see that we don't have that gradation that we had, for example, on the model's eye in Photoshop, is that we've got very clearly defined shapes 
that still retain, remain intact no matter how big or small that we look at them. Okay, and again, just to review, is that Photoshop is good at bitmap images, which are made up of pixels, and Illustrator is good at line art or vector art images.